Bonjour and welcome to the Tower of Claude. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-November Tower reading for the sign of Capricorn. I hope you're doing well and that you had a good first half of your month. These are general readings. They will not apply to everybody, so take what resonates and discard the rest. If the message doesn't resonate at all, or if you would like a more comprehensive picture for the next two weeks, please check your Moon, Venus and Rising signs as uh, this can um, help you understand other aspects. So what are the energies for mid-November till the end of the month for our lovely Capricorns? Your first energy is deep knowing. And you see, if you add four and three, that's seven, which is the number of experience, assessment, evaluation. So this is trusting what you know, what's within you. Let me put up another energy from the deck randomly. Let's see what's talking to me. This one here. Exchanging gifts. How nice. Now this could be um, materialistic gifts, but they could also be things like the gift of a, a very deep bond with someone, whether it's a relationship or a friendship, or it could be something like this. But let's have a look with the tarot and delve into this message. Okay, that jumped, so I'll have a look at that in a second. Let me cut the deck. Okay, so this is you. Eight of one, middle of your spread. Across is you, page of pentacles. What's below you, page of swords. What's above you? Ten of Cups, behind you, Seven of Wands, ahead of you, Six of Pentacles, Advice, Queen of Wands, Environment, Eight of Cups, Hopes and Fears, The Hermit, Outcome, Three of Wands, bottom of the deck, so underlying energies for you, Two of Swords. Oh right, let's have a look at this. Okay, so the Deep Knowing card is really um, calling to me right now because of the Two of Swords, which you have in the underlying energies, and the Hermit, which, which is positioned in your hopes and fears. And so the cards are basically saying that you, you feel like you do not have all the facts, because Two is uh, decisions, choices, and the Two of Swords, Swords is to do with your intellect, but also truth, facts, communication. And it's always represented with someone blindfolded. Um, and so things are on hold because you need to have all the facts. Um, it also sometimes represents uh, something that's being protected for the time being because the circumstances are not right for the time being. But there is the energy of deep knowing and in your fears, hopes and fears, you have the hermit and the hermit is someone who has the inner knowing, the inner knowledge, is someone who is going to retreat, isolate and look deep within himself in order to find the answers um, 
to whatever is wandering about you know it could be your your deep wishes you know what you really want out of life anything it's a general reading but this is part of your um I'm assuming fears from what I'm getting because we've got that two of swords over there in the underlying energies but the cards are saying that you do have that deep knowing because um, in the near past you've got the seven of wands seven is the number of experience and um, assessment and evaluation and wands is to do with passion excitement you know your desires and so the Seven of Wands um, represents, you know, persevering basically because Wand energy is a tiring energy because, you know, when, when you do things with passion, it, it can become exhausting after a while. And so in the near past, you've got that energy of, okay, I, I've got to persevere, I've got to persevere and continue and keep it up. And in the center of your spread, you have the Eight of Wands, which obviously is one up. Uh, so there's a progression and eight is a number of uh, advancement and the eight of wands um, can represent several things it could be things moving fast you know moving forward very fast it could be um, moving forward and being determined with one single goal it could also be uh, just news coming in out of nowhere it could be um, a trip going on a trip that kind of thing it's a movement strong energy and the Page of Pentacle crosses it. Now, pages, sorry about the um, sirens, I live in the town center. Um, I think they're going to drive past the house, so it's going to get louder. I'm so sorry about that. Yes, they are. Let me just pause for a minute. And there they are. So, as I was saying, pages um, can represent uh, news coming your way. Um, they can also represent a new path, a new direction. And pentacles is to do with your uh, physical environment, so home life, work life, financial assets, jobs. It could um, represent, you know, taking on a new course to develop your skills, um, that kind of thing. And this is blocking the Eight of Wands, which I find kind of surprising, which is probably why you've got the Two of Swords. You've got a block here. Um, because in the your goal and aspiration, you want the Ten, ten of, of Cups. I mean, who wouldn't? You want emotional fulfillment. This is the forever after um, happy card. Um, you know, where everyone is happy, you're happy emotionally, spiritually, you know, everything is just beautiful. You know, and in your subconscious, you might not be aware of it, you have the Page of Swords. And I've just discussed what the pages are. And Swords is to do with your um, intellect and your thoughts. So you could be looking at things with a different angle subconsciously, but not realizing it. Probably because you have been, you know, persevering, working hard. Um, and you may have had some news coming your way and subconsciously you, you're processing this and you're looking at it from a different point of view. Page of Swords can mean other different things, but that's the message I'm getting uh, right now. You know, that subconsciously this is playing on your mind and you're looking at it in a different way. Um, in the near future, you have the Six of Pentacles. Now, Six is the number of harmony. Um, after having had challenges and the six of pentacles is a really nice balanced card you know giving and receiving um, it, it's it's a, a very nice card basically and that's in, in your near future you're gonna get some harmony um, it screams to me like you know a, a more peaceful atmosphere around you you know a bit more serenity um, coming your way which I normally don't get from Six of Pentacles, but that's what I'm getting now, so I'm telling you. Um, and in the advice, you have the Queen of Wands. So you could have someone, male or female, this is a general reading, so it could be a male or a female. The Queen of Wands is the, um, the queen who um, leads with a soft word, because queens are, queens are patient, they're receptive, as opposed to uh, kings who are you know, powerful, action orientated, they're receptive. But she's softly spoken, but she has a big stick in her hand and she's not afraid to use it if she needs to. 
Um, so she's someone who's very confident and strong, knows what she wants. Um, and she can also be very creative, very passionate. So you either have someone in your environment who behaves like this person, um, who maybe could give you some advice, or the cards are telling you to embody the characteristic of that Queen of Wands, you know, which I believe is what it is, because I was getting the energy of harmony, you know, balance with the Six of Pentacles. So being softly spoken, having that confidence that deep down you know the answer that you're looking for, but you also have the stick to make it happen and making sure that people know this, you know, that you're not a pushover. Because in your environment, in external influences and situation, you have the Eight of Cups, and the Eight, as I said, is the number of advancement, and this is saying that the um, environment is good for you now to move on to something better. You know, to move on, to get your Ten of Cups, which is what you're trying to achieve anyway, because I've seen it right here at the top of the spread. So it's leaving behind what no longer serves you in order to get that Ten of Cups that you're looking for. And as I said, in your fears and, and hopes you have the Hermit, so, you know, you doubt your inner knowledge, your inner knowing, which you shouldn't. The cards are telling you that you've you know, you have got this, don't worry about it, just really look inside and trust what you see there so that you can get out of that Two of Swords energy of, you know, protecting yourself, protecting um, whatever project it is you're trying to get off the ground, because it could be that as well. Because this Eight of Wands may have brought you news, something that could, you know, benefit you, because there is the card of exchanging gifts here. And in the near future, you've got the Six of Pentacles, which, as I said to you, is giving and receiving. So, your outcome is the Three of Wands. Now, Three is the beginning of growth, it's uh, the beginning of abundance, and Wands is to do with your passions, as I said, with the, uh, the Queen. And so, it's, it's beginning to see, you know, um, things improving, basically. Um, and, you know, it may take a little bit of time, but things will definitely improve. That's what the cards are saying. You will see it in the near future by the means of exchanging gifts. You know, it could also be an exchange of energy. You know, it doesn't have to be monetary. It doesn't have to be physical presence. As I said at the beginning, it could be a deep bond and you receive so much from that relationship, um, which could be with um, this Queen of Wands, you know, support. So, an exchange of energy as well, and you're going to get this in the immediate future. And, and then you'll see the beginning of growth, of whatever it is that you're, you're trying to um, manifest in your life, which evidently is that Ten of Cups, you know, emotional fulfillment, happy ever after. Just make sure that you trust your inner voice and um, keep your eyes peeled for that Queen of Wands who might be someone in your environment or remember what she embodies, you know, and be confident. Have that confidence in yourself that you know deep down what's right for you and what to do um, in order to move forward, whether we're talking about in a relationship or whether we're talking about a job, a promotion, a business you're trying to launch, that kind of thing. So I hope you've enjoyed your journey through the cards with me. I also do daily readings, which I'm going to leave you a card up here somewhere <laughs> if you want to check them out. Thank you so much for choosing to spend some time with me. I really appreciate it. And if any of it reson resonated at all with you, or if it helped you in some way, please let me know in the comments box below. I'd love to interact with you. I wish you a fantastic second half of November, and I hope to see you again very soon. Until next time, au revoir.